Essex County man is recovering after getting seriously ill overseas. He was told by doctors that he was one of the sickest people in Ireland. Marcella Bayato shares how he's now back at home after a relentless recovery journey. It's been a long time away from home for Matt Small. His homecoming Friday led to a surprise gathering of friends on motorcycles, neighbors, and police. It was quite honestly a shock to have that many people be uh, excited, I guess, and relieved that I'm home. The 21 year old graphic designer went from riding his Harley without a care in the world to fighting for his life. During a family trip to Ireland in December, Small was sick with what he thought was just a common cold. I had felt off. But it was more like, you know, uh, congestion, a head cold, a headache, you know, nothing serious. He then went to a hospital and while waiting to be seen by a doctor. It was harder and harder to breathe and my fingers started turning blue. After being diagnosed with influenza and other illnesses, he then contracted sepsis, a serious blood infection. Small was put on a ventilator and dialysis. One of the doctors came back and said to me later on that, you know, he's actually the sickest person in Ireland at the moment. He was in a medically induced coma for four weeks. Even waking up the first two or three days, memories are still choppy. While in the hospital, he turned to 21. I wanted to have a drink with him just to sort of mark the occasion. Um, so we were finally able to do that. Finally, he was discharged on February 9th, right in time for the big game. My goal was to get out of the hospital, to be able to sit at home, on a couch and eat a cheesesteak while watching the Eagles play in the Super Bowl. The small family says they're thankful for the team of nurses and doctors in Ireland. The nurses uh, absorbed a little bit of Philly culture. They were rooting for the Eagles too. A lot of what helped me sit at ease and have peace of mind was all the people who came out to support me. Now, Small says he's going to be taking it easy for a while, but he hopes by the end of this summer he'll be back on his motorcycle. In Levittown, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia.